G'day, how's it going? I'm Keegan from Greenhouse IT, and in this uh, e-commerce academy video, I'm going to quickly run you through one of the cool little handy features of CS Cart called the uh, Store Access Key. Now, from time to time, when you're running your instant e-commerce store powered by CS Cart, you're probably going to want to close your store to the general public for one thing or another. You might be doing maintenance on it or fiddling around with the layout or adding a whole bunch of new products. Whatever you're doing, you might decide occasionally that uh, you temporarily want to close the store to the public so that you can make some changes. This in itself is easy enough to do and I'll show you how to do that now to start off. Let's open up the administration panel for our demo store here. Now you may or may not be aware of this uh, closed storefront link down in the bottom right hand corner of every page of the administration panel. Uh, closing the store is as easy as clicking on that, clicking OK and we get this little confirmation message telling us the store has been closed. It's important to point out at this point that uh, the store uh, still functions exactly the same in terms of the uh, administration panel here, the CS card administration panel. None of the functionality here is impaired when the store is closed. You can still do absolutely everything you could normally do before when the store was open. Process orders, add products, everything is still enabled. It just prevents the general public from being able to uh, access your storefront. And uh, to demonstrate that, I'm going to click on this storefront link, open it up, and there you go. It says, uh, closed, sorry, the store has been temporarily closed for maintenance. So, uh, in a lot of circumstances though, when you do close your store, you're going to be maybe editing the layout or something like that. You're going to actually want to be able to see the storefront, even though you want to keep it closed to everybody else. And we can do that using the store access key feature of CS Cart, and I'll show you how to do that now. Close out of this, we'll go into our administration tab, and click on settings. And then on the general page of settings here, just uh, in the first area here, uh, you see access key to temporarily closed store. Gives you a demo of uh, the URL to use where you replace company.com with obviously your address and uh, key value here with whatever we type into here. And this is going to be your store access key. It's a combination of numbers and letters. Ha uh, can't have any spaces in it, um, preferably something small and easy to remember. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to type in hello1, so that's going to be our store access key. Click save. And there we go, that's now our store access key. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into our storefront here. Now, your store access key is kind of like a password to let you view your storefront while the store is closed to the general public. And to enter your password, you actually enter it into the URL or the web address up here in the address bar. So, I'll slow this down so you can see exactly what I type in. We start off just with the address or the domain name of our online store. In this case, our domain name is demo.greenhouseit.com.au uh, with a little forward slash on the end there. And then what we type in is question mark store underscore access underscore key, then equals. And then without any spaces or anything, we just type in the store access key that we defined in the administration panel. So we type in hello1 in this example, that's my access key, hit enter, and there we go. It takes us straight to our uh, storefront. Now the other cool feature of this is that uh, whether or not you know what a cookie is, it actually saves a cookie to your computer, which is uh, a little bit of data that's saved to your web browser. So basically, this uh, store access key that I've put in, this has been saved to my computer now, so I don't need to enter this every single time. I can actually delete this out and just um, put that in, just the address of our store, the normal address. Chuck that in, hit enter, and you can see it takes us straight to the home page anyway. Yet everyone else who hasn't put in that code is still getting taken to that store closed uh, page. So this means that you can actually look at your website uh, while you're making changes to it, and then of course when you're ready to reopen your store to the public, it's as easy as going back into your administration panel and click on open storefront. So that's a very handy tip to know. For more uh, tips and stacks, more video tutorials, head on to our eCommerce Academy website at www.ecommerceacademy.net.au.